Thanks for everybody joining us today here at the Innovation Summit, Schneider Electric 2017. We're here with Joe McMillan here, Director of Marketing for Oil, Gas, Power, and Energy, correct? Correct. And, and anything else you want to add to that title? He pretty no, much is... That's fine. It's sufficient. <laughs> Joe, let's talk about today. It's been an exciting day, a lot of stuff going on. We had some really interesting keynotes and, and my Mike Rowe here today. Um, you know, what are you seeing that's you know, exciting to you and your customers that you see out there? What are you hearing uh, from them about what they're excited about today? So a couple things that customers found interesting today. One, definitely the keynote by Mike Rowe. He really put the human element of what we're trying to accomplish here with the digital transformation into, into context. So that was great to hear his, his story of how he, how he stumbled upon, really, um, dirty jobs and how that transformed him in the human element of transformation and allowed him to accept change in his life. And I think we're at that, that precipice of an industry where you have a lot of different, the convergence of many different aspects. You have the workforce is changing dramatically. You have technology is rapidly evolving. You have so many other things yeah. that are affecting industry. So you have a lot of things that is really great time to be in industry. It's really exciting. Yeah, very true. I mean, we've been talking about this a lot, but technology for tech is just technology. Without the human element, really, it needs something to help it drive it and push it somewhere. And we're the ones that, that the humans are the ones that innovate it, you know, and push it directions that it goes. Correct. So. And, and I will say, because of this workforce change and the dynamics, the demographics, the workforce is used to technology and they, their expectations of technology is so much greater than my expectations of technology when I actually graduated. So if you look at my dorm room, I may have had a game system and a TV and, and wired internet and a, and a desktop computer. Now, people in dorms have laptops and Wi-Fi and tablets and multiple cellular phones. None of that stuff existed, and I'm not even that old, when I graduated <laughs> from college. So that the expectations on technology for industry, that they're, what they're expecting when they go into the industry yeah is so much greater. Absolutely. And it's fueling innovation within technology. Yeah, it's super exciting times for sure. As we look at like the next five years, I mean obviously with that same concept that you know, digital transformation is, is accelerating at a rapid pace. Correct. And where do you see us in the next five years? Or what, what are the things that we're going to start to you know, evolve? Or where do you see things changing even more? So that's a tricky question because <laughs> I guarantee whatever I say, whatever I suppose will happen, we'll, we'll be wrong. So I think definitely everything will be more connected. You'll have this data and you'll be able to analyze it. And I think that's happening now and I think that will exponentially happen at a, an accelerated rate going forward. But I think the technology companies, and I'm not even talking about the technology vendors like Schneider Electric, I'm talking about technology providers like Facebook, um, like Microsoft, like IBM. They're all coming up with new ways of doing business that's fueling further innovation because the expectations are always increasing from the workforce, which is fueling further innovation. It's this vicious cycle, and it's only going to benefit industry going forward. Absolutely. I think that's, you know, what we heard today was pretty exciting. What we've been looking at and seeing as we move into the future is that this technology is hardware agnostic, right? It can be used across. It's open. So you're able to do things that you didn't expect to do with whatever hardware you want. It's backwards and forwards compatible. It's like your PlayStation 1 working with the PlayStation 8 that's going to come out. You don't have to worry about that, right? right? So. Uh, very very exciting time. So, uh, Joe, thanks for being with us today. Well, thank you very much. A few minutes, and uh, hey, good luck the rest of the show. All right, great. Thank you very All much, right. everyone. Thanks a lot.